Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here. We have the next part of the RU Road to Top 10. Thank you everybody for all the support. I'm like still so excited that we're getting Generation 8 and I actually have a few videos that I want to do uh, with some friends. Uh, just, you know, speculation and stuff. That stuff is the most fun, right? Uh, just, just guessing what's going to happen and making everything seem broken and, and, you know, talking about evolutions and stuff like that. So I'm excited. But uh, yeah, we got this team from my boy Ajna. I'm going to uh, hop right into the team builder now, so yeah, let's get right into it. So first member of the squad we have is Deancey. This is Fairy MZ. Deancey is an offensive stealth rocker that threatens Pokemon like Mandibuzz and Mega Blastoise. I say Mega Blastoise because typically Mega Blastoise does not run a, a water move in uh, Aryu. It runs Ice Beam, or Sphere, and Dark Pulse. So this is pretty cool because it's a rocker that can beat the two main forms of hazard control. We have Earth Power as well for uh, Registeel and Steel types in general. And then Calm Mind just to make our Twinkle Tackle that much stronger. Our speed allows to outspeed um, Rhyperior and everything below. Some Golisopod variants as well. So we can hit them with Twinkle Tackle, get them out of there with Emergency Exit. Basically it's a Stealth Rocker that uh, deals with Dragon types as well as threatens the hazard control that is in the tier. Speaking of which, we do have Mega Blasters as the next member. This is a Rabbit Spinner, Timid, Max Speed, you want to be faster than Needle Queen. Ice Beam or Sphere Dark Pulse has perfect coverage in the RU tier. And of course, Rapid Spin there. Dark Pulse is really nice, especially with Mega Launcher. Uh, we don't have anything uh, basically blocking our uh, spin. Like, Ghost types can't do it because of the Dark Pulse, obviously. Or Sphere is there. For Steels, Ice Beam threatens Virizion, Noivern, uh, Grass types in general, as well as, as I mentioned, Noivern. So, Rose Raid is the next member, and we're using a Focus Sash lead Rose Raid set with Spikes, Leaf Storm, Hidden Power, Fire, and Sleep Powder. I'll be real. Not a big fan of Sleep Powder Rose Raid, uh, but maybe that's because I see a lot of Manda Buzz. But uh, we do have options for Manda Buzz, as I did mention that Deancey kind of just destroys it uh, in its own right. Uh, but Hidden Power Fire with Technician Boost is a 2 hit KO on Metagross. Also does some very nice damage to Registeel and Bronzong. Uh, spike support is really cool, especially when we have Blastoise just being an offensive threat and pivoting around. Um, and just like it's really tough to pivot around on Blastoise with Hazards up. Uh, and again, Sleep Powder is really nice, especially versatile teams without Mana Buzz. Like, I, I, like I'm, again, I'm like back and forth between it, but it's cool because it does sometimes guarantee an extra layer. I might switch back and forth between that and Sludge Bomb as we keep going. Focus Sash just to ensure that we do get up a spike. Noivern is the next member of the squad, and we are using Choice Scarf Noivern. This is nice because it's a Barbarical answer. Uh, Choice Scarf Noivern is faster than Barbarical. Uh, it is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, Choice Scarf user in the tier. We have Switcheroo with Infiltrator, which is pretty cool for like sub Pokemon or... Uh, Infiltrator is also really nice because behind screens we ignore that so we can drop a Draco, we can Hurricane. Again, Switcheroo is really just there to mess up a bulkier Pokemon. Bronzong, Registeel come to mind. Um, Milotic is a big one too that also comes to mind, just locking it into whatever attack it goes for. Obviously, we have U-Turn for Momentum. This is also a Virizion check on the team as well as a grass type check in general. Choice Band Metagross is the next member on the squad. We are running Jolly Choice Band, Earthquake, Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch, and Pursuit. Pursuit is really nice uh, for trapping Pokemon like Gardevoir. Bullet Punch is also good for aforementioned Gardevoir and just weaken Pokemon in general, like a weakened Flygon could be pretty cool. And then we have Meteor Mash as our stab move, and Earthquake is nice for opposing steals like Metagross. Um, this is pretty cool because it provides us an offensive steel type, which I'm a big fan of. I'm actually not a big fan of defensive steel types at all in the RU tier. And by that I mean I'm not a big fan of Bronzong. Uh, Registeel is fine, but I'm just not a big fan of Bronzong at all because he gets Pursuit Trapped. And even Metagross can Pursuit Trap Bronzong if need be. Last but not least, we have some defensive backbone in Rest Talk Horse. Mudsdale is the next member and the last member. Uh, but we have AD Spadef. That way we can take two Raikou HP Ices. Um, stamina is obviously really good. It's physically defensive Mudsdale because it takes hits from Pokemon like Zygarde for days. Uh, rest and Sleep Talk help us out with our lack of recovery. Toxic is there for everything that Earthquake does not hit. This Pokemon is very fun. It's actually the main reason why I am using this team. But yeah, let us get right into the battles. Alright guys, I got a game and automatically looking at it, I know Noivern's gonna go in. Uh, first off, Choice Scarf Noivern Speed Ties with Timid Venusaur. Um, and it looks like he has screen options as well. This is obviously Sun, but it looks like he has screen options as well, uh, which are really nice for, um, what's it called? My, uh, my Norvin's Infiltrator, because I don't care about that. So I think I'm going to get up Hazards and just try and break through him like that. Uh, he's probably going to lead Uxie. 
get up rocks, etc. Get up the sun, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to Moonblast here for a little bit of damage on Uxie. He's going to U-turn out into the Ninetales. Do I want to keep my DNC alive? I'll just Twinkle Tackle here uh, on the anticipated Ninetales coming in. As he goes Metagross, uh, which I think is fair too. I don't want to double out into my Blastoise. Uh, especially because he can Thunder Punch here. Uh, damage on that is very crucial, by the way, because again, Noivern's Hurricane is super good versus my opponent. Like, very, very, very good. Uh, so that's something I want to keep in mind. Uh, we're going to make the Rose Raid play here. Doesn't look like my opponent has Hazard Control, so... Man, I'm just going to get up a Spike. I don't care if he goes out into Ninetales. Uh, again, because my Hurricane is going to be my main way of dealing with my opponent as he goes out into Machamp, looks like it's Assault Vest. So that means Sleep Powder is going to be really good here. Um, and I'll make the Deancey play just because if I do wake up, I can obviously break through. He gets the first turn wake, which is very, very, very annoying. Ideally, I get the first turn wake back because he has Heavy Slam. Okay, Heavy Slam knockoff. This is definitely Assault Vest, my champ. So that's something I need to... Ooh, I'm okay with this. Especially because, like I said, my hazards are going to go a long, a really long way with Hurricane. Like, obviously, I have to hit Hurricanes in the Sun, but as if I hit my Hurricanes in the Sun, I pretty much win, I think. Uh, so, I will be getting up all my hazards here as Meowstic comes out. We're just going to get in Blastoise here to Rapid Spin away the rocks for Noivern. Yep, there's a Light Screen. Again, that shouldn't matter for Infiltrator. Hello? I cannot switch. That's really cool. That is super cool, but we end up getting rid of Meowstic. Uh, as I mentioned, Hurricane is going to go a long way. Mm. I'm not really as worried about this thing either. Uh, I'm just going to start spamming like buttons. It doesn't really matter. Um, Noivern, uh, again, as long as Noivern connects its Hurricanes, which is 50%, yeah, so maybe I should be worried, but as, lo as long as Noivern connects its 50%, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, as long as I connect, that should be good. Uh, brings out Venusaur. As he goes for the uh, Z Growth. Okay, that's, I thought that was Z Celebrate for a second. I got a little bit worried. So again, it's going to come down to a speed tie and me hitting Hurricane on top of that. Giga Drain. It's going to come down to potential speed tie and me hitting Hurricane, which is 50% accurate. Let's see. Hey, and we don't care about the screens because of Infiltrator, like I mentioned. This is why, this is why I said this thing was a win con. I don't mind Metagross coming in. I literally go out into my own and Pursuit Trap this thing. Tectonic Rage would be the only thing that could actually beat me down, and at this point, Rose Raid does nothing. Hmm. Okay. I'll just pursue. Uh, oh, hey, he has Reflect Up. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god, he has Weakness Policy, too. Do I really want to make it come down to that? I really messed up. Why did I pursue... I forgot Reflect was up. I mean, it doesn't matter because my Noivern outspeeds him, so I can just sack this, but... Uh, still, that was bad on my part. That was really bad on my part. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not as worried about my champ. If that wants to come out, Ninetales comes out. I believe he had like 10 million turns of... He literally had like 10 million turns of Sun, so there's no way this isn't anything but Damp Rock. I mean, Damp Rock, uh... Sun Rock. Yeah, Pursuit was a bad play. Um, thinking about it, I didn't realize uh, he had his thing up. Anyway, Toxic here. Doesn't matter that he's Guts because he's, he's touched me, basically. And uh, Stamina is going to be able to win the game. I mean, he can use, he can use some... He's actually... He's actually Guts, which which makes it a little bit hard. Which makes sense because he's a solid vest and he's using Heavy Sun. This is a really cool team, though. He can crit me, I guess. Oh my gosh, he did crit me immediately. So I might end up losing.
I might actually lose because of that crit. Hmm. Because I can also miss Draco here. Alright, I land it. Uh, I don't know the Uxie's item. I don't know if it has an attack to hit me. Probably shouldn't have said good game. I mean, I said good game because he said good game. I didn't say it to like, spite him. Yo, I have Papa? Alright. Yo, this is really poetic. Land winning the game by dropping Dracos. Aye, GG. Woof! Alright, we managed to get out of that. Thankfully. That was tough. Almost lost to Machamp Crit. Almost lost to Machamp Crit. Um... I think... I wanna know how many points I have, so I'm actually gonna wait here for a second. Because I haven't played in like 2-3 days. I didn't want to record it yesterday because I had to go. So I knew it would be a really rushed episode. So yeah, uh, Neuvern obviously for... Oh, whatever, it's taking too long. Neuvern obviously for MVP in that game. Uh, but I knew it would be the MVP looking at it because my opponent had Sun. And I, I, took, I could tell it was screens because you had a, a Meow Stick. Um, Mudsdale too also could have won it. I almost... I didn't throw... But I would have had more pieces, which would have been a little bit easier for me because my opponent would have went nine tails next. Um, I could have sacked Metagross, brought in my. Uh, whoa. Oh, yeah, they're suspecting Zygarde 10% now, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. Defog, defog, rapid spin, <laughs> magic bounce. So many options here. I don't think I need my scarf on my, uh, have fun. I don't think I need my, do you have a really threatening team? But I don't think I need my scarf on my, on my Neuvern in this. I probably will go for Switcheroo eventually. Uh, I don't know what's the rocker. Are you going to talk about, are you going to talk about Zygarde? Uh, reminded me. So I probably, a bit soon. Hmm. I mean, my thoughts on, I'll, I'll make it like a really quick one, but right here, I think that the, the checks for Zygarde are the blanket checks for Blastoise too, so it's not like you have to go out of your way to cover it. For example, uh, Virizion is my opponent's ground uh, resistance, which also at the same part uh, turn checks Blastoise. Goliath another one comes to mind. It's a, it's a ground resistance that checks Zygarde and Blastoise, so I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't, I don't think it should have been suspected, truthfully, but we'll... we'll I guess that's how I feel about it, but I'm not sure. Um, God, I'm so weak. Dawn fan. All right, Blastoise, I choose you. Like, you're, you're the, they're the lead. Yeah. Oh, this thing is going to be annoying as hell, too. I think I'm going to Meteor Mash through his team. Uh, I'm assuming this is just going to be a Defog variant. Yeah, I'm going to Meteor Mash through his team. This is my- I'm gonna choice ban Meteor Mash through his team. I need to break through Donphan, that way my Deancey can get up rocks, and that way I can Moonblast. I'm sure this is just Defog, Roost, Toxic, or Defog, uh, Roost, Freeze Dry, Heal Bell. So he might go hard Zatu. Um, either way, I'm Meteor Mashing it. That, that's, a, that's it. I gotta do that with, uh, Metagross. My Norvern's gonna be useful in making sure I don't lose to Virizion. <laughs> uh, even if it's like sub -com, or sub, rather, not sub -com mine. Don't be sub -com mine. <laughs> I mean, Hurricane's still gonna hurt. Ugh. My Rose Raid not having Sludge Bomb is really bad in this game. I would like that so I can get up a spike. Though, I mean, the spike would be short-lived. I'm assuming he's thinking about going Zatu now. Hey, Lan. Ooh, that did some damage. Uh, even if he Roost, I, I still rather Meteor Mash. <laughs> I was faster, and I missed out on such a, a crucial one, because that means I could actually at least toss up my rocks. Or, you know, play my Rose Raid like a Pokemon instead of... Alright. He's gonna heatwave me here, but it won't knock me out. I'll just Night Shades. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is worth getting rid of. I'm assuming he might be pursued on this thing too. Come on, man. Every bit of damage matters. Like, every bit of damage matters on every single Pokemon my opponent has. I can't even go... I'm actually forced to go Mudsdale here as he goes out to Zatsu. Good play, but I'm going to Earthquake on the Roost because uh, he'll lose his Flying type. And I'm going to bring out my Meta... I'm going to have to Pursuit Trap this. That's the thing. How much did I do? 72%. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pursue trap this. Of course I can't. All right, so that meteor mash was really stupid to miss. Now, like this, because of, literally because of this, it's fine. Bring out my Deancey here. I'm gonna go for Earth Power because it hits Metagross, which is his main switch. And I'm obviously not gonna go for Rocks here either. Beautiful damage, thank you so much. Nice double out into Virizion. Uh, even if he has Stone Edge, I have to make the Noivern play. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm about to say why? Why is that coming out? Ooh, are you Twinkle Tackle too? Uh, that, that sounded so like I sounded so excited there. <laughs> are you Twinkle Tackle too? I'm assuming he's the same set as me. So bring out Roserade. Uh, I'm gonna HP Fire, and I'm just gonna sleep out of here too. I don't want to get up a spike because he might eventually go Zatu. Dude, come on, man! Let me land an attack. Like, landing that on that Pokemon is so important, too. I'm not going to let him go Zatu on me. That's so annoying. It really is, man. I have no reason to not click rocks here, considering he already has them up. What do I lose from it? I'll just Moonblast as well. Ooh, okay, okay. Let me threaten something. He can't he can't roost on me forever, and this guarantees basically a kill. Because Metagross will die to offense of this. I can still end game I can still end game this with Noivern. Uh, I gotta get rid of the Ancy though. So it gives me Zatu, which is nice. Um I don't obviously get any spikes up or anything. But just getting rid of that is really good. Of course, obviously the Metagross can come in or the Virizion. I can still Meteor Mash him too. Nah. I'll let him leaf blade me and knock me out. I mean, I'll let him in a, in a sense that I don't have a choice. That's... I'm sorry, but missing Sleep Powder and missing... Me, Meteor Mash on Zatsu was bigger because I couldn't... I could easily have gone for spikes. This might be Z Heal Bell. Because he's physical... Actually, I think... I think Mudsdale might win. Yeah. Yeah, Mudsdale's in a, a winning position for sure. Uh, I don't care if he uh, freeze dries here. Um, I spin. Yeah, I spin. Uh, he might be max speed, but if he's not, and he freeze dries to knock me out. I'm just gonna BP because I'm not gonna I'm gonna miss if I go for anything else. But basically this says Deancey, don't you dare come in. This also gives him the rapid spin, but the thing is he does not beat Mudsdale. Yep, he does not beat Mudsdale at all. I'm in. He may actually be Bloom Doom, but that still don't beat Mudsdale. Z turn on Deancey. He can heal bell. I get he can Z heal bell. But I think my Mudsdale, because my Mudsdale will definitely beat the. Uh, I hope I, I actually hope I get this earthquake off. No, that'd be too uh, that'd be too easy. You better moon blast me, bro, because you're not gonna appreciate this at all. I don't know if he's Bloom Doom or all out pummeling. Because uh, had I known, please get an earthquake. Like if earthquake or toxic. I know I'm gonna get rest, but earthquake or toxic. There we go. Always Noivern. Uh-oh. Okay. I know a little bit too much about your set now. This might be choice ban, though. <sighs> I hope not. I'm okay with that. As long as I'm at a good HP, I'm okay with that. And it is Bloom Doom, yeah. Ah, wait, no, it's all pummeling. We're good. Well, we're not good. Like, we're we're alive. Mm. 
Yeah, I lost. Yeah, good game. I really think this would have been different if, yeah, I think if no Zatu or sleeping. I don't want to, that's fine. I, I do think I would have won. All good. I, I do think with no Zatu, I easily would have just clicked spikes, but I mean, I can still hurricane my opponent to death, so. Hey, it's not over yet unless you have Ice Shard on Donphan. I can still I can still hurricane my opponent to death. All right, good luck on the rest. Thank you, dude. Yeah, all right, this is some, uh, a little bit of garbage right there. But you know what? That's my, I, I was the one using moves that can miss. 75 and, 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 and okay. This one I don't even want to say. 90. Like, how are you going to lower Meteor Mashes? Wow. This is such a cool team. Is that Specs Typhlosion? Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, um, wow. Yo, this is a tough one too. Mudsdale checks Zygar, checks this. Noivern's gonna be really nice in this too, just dropping Dracos and whatnot. It's really weak to this Pokemon though. I'm gonna go the Ro the Sash Rosier route because I think it gives me like. Oh my gosh, what a good start too. I'll get it by Spike. I saw Valley Poison comes out. Wow, did not. I thought that would be Steel or something. Uh, don't want to hit that attack anyway. I'm gonna make the Metagross play and click Earthquake because he doesn't have a, an Earthquake switching. I'm still clicking Earthquake. Hidden Power Fire will not knock me out, even if it's Life Orb. Yep. Um, and getting rid of Rose Raid is awesome because this is one of the two things that actually, well, three things that deals, no, yeah, two things that deal with my, uh, my main Pokemon that comes in on this. Deancey should take always two eruptions. There's no way. And I Twinkle Tackle here because it hits Blastoise if he wants to make that play. I don't care if he goes still Volley Poison. I want to weaken that anyway. Um, but ideally hitting Blastoise was easier for me. Um, basically prior to it coming in and uh, rapid spinning. But uh, we're playing this one a little bit faster. But it's okay. I, I, I legitimately think I'm fine because my, my Mudsdale is going to wall everything soon. Speaking of which... Ooh, okay. Pulls a double. Actually, yeah, yeah I don't need this. Uh, if he rapid spins here, I get some bullet punch damage off on on you. And it gives me the pivot into this, which literally clicks Leaf Storming, picks up a KO. And the po the only Pokemon it doesn't pick up a KO on is uh, Typhlosion. So I guess he expected me not to be Leaf Storm there. Uh, we get rid of Blastoise. And at this point, I think I should be able to win the game with my Mudsdale in the back. So I don't mind you going for that. I can literally Moonblast here because his only Earth Power switching would be Zygarde and I take the Eruption anyway so I just don't give him, I basically don't give my opponent any outs. This is the plays I'm making. The game, dude. Yeah, that was a really fast one. Um, I mean, that's to be expected with this team. I'm really mad I missed that, that Meteor Mash on Zatu. Because that game would have been so different, man. Ah, I gotta stop. I gotta get over that. I gotta move on. <laughs> I don't want to get tilted on the Arya road. This one is a very, very, very fun road uh, for me. What are, what are we... Is that my second loss? My third loss? Probably my third loss. Oh, I'm 17-2. and two. Yeah, so that's my second loss. Alright. Am I 18-2 and two actually? I don't know if it updated. Yeah, I'm 18-2. and Alright, cool. Uh, because I hadn't played in three days at a kid a little bit too. Last time we ended on the 1400s. But yeah, Zygarde being suspected. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's busted. I don't. I think Thousand Arrows is free. Obviously, it's Thousand Arrows. Oh. I recognize the name, and it's Webs. Hmm. Specs. I don't know if it's DD or Scarf. Probably Scarf. Rocks. Don't know what type of Metagross you are. Uh, Deancey is going to be cool because it comes in on Swellow and clicks Earth Power and claims something on... What is this? Kyle Lay texting me. I'll check my phone in a bit. Um, Mudsdale, you two are stopped in your tracks. Uh, Scarf Neuvern is going to be fantastic in this too. Leads off on Metagross, which I'm okay with. Uh, I want to... I want to damage you. Because you're a hurricane switching. You're the only hurricane switching my opponent has. As he explodes, that's amazing. Uh, so we get rid of the only hurricane switching my opponent had. 
Swallow comes out. It might U-turn here, but I'm going to go Deancey anyway, just in case he boom bursts. And you're going to bring out Needle Queen? Blastoise. Really? Wait, for real? You Hydro Pump or something? Scald ain't gonna knock me out. I'm about to say, you, you got a Hydro Pump there. I'm gonna get some damage on this Blastoise. Hold up. Let me push that boy. Hmm. Worth. I don't think I'll live it from... I, I mean, I have Metagross for, to literally bullet punch his team, but some Moon Blast there. Bring out my Rose Raid. Uh, Leaf Storm is free. Actually, I'm gonna attempt to sleep out of here. <sighs> the move sucks! That move sucks. Uh, basically, it would have uh, it wouldn't have guaranteed, but it, it meant I could have gotten a spike up, and that would've been nice for obviously breaking that thing sash. But I mean, I'm I'm still pretty good here, uh, especially because like I'm going to trick the Needle Queen, and I want to speed tie there too. I hope I flinch him as well. Dragon Pulse. What the hell am I fighting? Uh, Galvantula can click Thunder, Swallow can click Boom Burst. I still like you around. And I always click Meteor Mash here, yeah, I cannot wish proceeding that. Please land. Thank you. Hey, nice attack raise. Come on, man. Why is everything against me? <laughs> uh, hopefully he's not HP Ice, but... Because basically, I was going to use Noivern to, to, to drop a Draco on everything. And Empower Ice. Yes, I eat that. Thank you. I want to keep my Bullet Punch alive because it basically guarantees Draco knocks out. Uh, please don't Spadef drop me immediately. Thank you. It basically, uh, if I bullet punch Needle Queen, it guarantees that, um, this is not a counter, my friend. Alright, well, maybe eventually I'll land. I'll land a Toxic, because this is definitely Z. Thank you, my friend. Uh, your Z is not going to knock me out. So I'm not worried about that. I mean, dude, even if you Z, like, I'm, I'm gonna eat this up. I'm pretty sure, I should have been cal- Why have I not been calcing this whole time? Like, on. Uh, it's basically plus one Z, right? Let's just assume it's plus one Z. 80 to 100%, because I have my plus two, so. If he gets one more, he will be able to knock me out, though. But I don't need this Pokemon. I literally bullet punch you after, so I don't care. No, I might not have a, a clear win. Anyway, I eat this 100% of the time. And I get more stamina, and I literally rest and don't care. <laughs> this thing is so good. Dude! Hun I swear it's 100%. Come on, man! I needed an extra Pokemon because now I'm gonna lose to now I'm gonna lose to, to the 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 Needle Queen and stuff. This is so lame, man! You really just crit my Mudsdale from full. Basically, I beat Flygon. He's forced to go Galvantula. I can go Noivern and drop a Draco. I still have like three Pokemon left. Um, I sack it, I bullet punch Needle Queen and then I Draco and I knock it out. I'm just gonna attempt to keep as many Pokemon as possible. I mean, I might still have my same, unless I'm overestimating Choice Band Bullet Punch. I'm definitely out of range of rocks. 6.6%, which means I can come in on rocks. Hey, he should have HP Ice there. I was at 
Unless I'm over S There's no way. No. Bullet I still win. There's no way Bullet Punch does not do 29%. This is choice ban. Yeah, good game. Hack's not keeping me back. We did this. Oof. Oof. I'm sorry to get a little heated. I gotta calm down, man. Ah. Uh, Shadia. Sorry, my friend asked me if I'm free in about an hour. Oh, you. Oh, you, you, you. I want you to have fun, but I don't want you to have that much fun. Fun. I don't know how fast this thing is running or how much speed this thing is running, but I always go muzzed. It's probably going to knock. Good, I broke it sturdy. Necessary. Like, very, very, very necessary there. Uh, he may end the doubling, but you know what? I'm gonna stall this thing out if I can a couple times. Oh, oof, let me not mess up. Oh, ew. Ignore, ignore the Pokemon in front of me completely. <laughs> HP fire. All right, we're good. I'm in. Don Fan is two KO'd. Go ahead and protect, bro. How fast is this Articuno? How fast is this Articuno? I'm trying to figure that out. Doesn't matter. I probably lost to it anyway. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to end up tricking the Articuno. Uh, with, uh, what is it, with, uh, my, my Neuvern. That's likely what's gonna end up happening. That's some beautiful damage, man. I enjoy that type of damage. You're banded, right? We'll freeze to zero. I can st I can't stop my freeze, guys. Hmm. I still think oh I always make the uh Ooh, nice. I still think I always make that play no matter what. Um No! No! No. No. Nah, nah, nah. I legitimately could not let him go, uh... Come on, DNC. Thaw! Dude. Thaw! I need... Mmm! Man, I'm, I'm, I'm actually... I'm getting heated again, man. I'm getting heated. Because... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I hate complaining in a video because it's stupid. It's Pokemon. I play it. But, like, I get a Brox and Articuno, and he never gets rid of them. And without rocks, Or even weaken Deancey, right? Give me a crit. Oh, it just killed. Nice. Okay. I still got a Brox though, which have been fire. Oh, that crit you. Oh, I got an attack raise. Good. You can't even roost on me. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's get it. In. Don't you dare be faster than me. Perfect. There's no way this does 
Rizion's so weak. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm hitting all my meteor matches. I don't care. Hitting them all. All of them. All of them. Don't you dare get this dog protect. Nah, man. Don't get this dog protect. Don't get it. Don't be faster than me either. Don't even have it. Man, this is... Like, look, guys. If I was not frozen, I would have gotten up rocks here. Articuno would have... Articuno would not have been able to double twice like it did. It would never have been able to double twice. It wouldn't have. What if he... Is just faster than me, man. He might be. Yeah, but yeah, I... Oh, freaking course. I'm just gonna go off his choke and have him sub. Of course, he gets the double protect. What a game. I mean, Bullet Punch still does a ton, I bet, but that's just so annoying. Nothing. Bro, if I don't flinch you three twice, bro, this is some garbage. <laughs> Good game, man. This is straight up some garbage. Man, I got a Brox and mess with this mon up. What? No. I don't want it. GG. I'm gonna win on my own. I don't take no handouts. Nah. I'm ending it because I'm, I'm, I'm getting hacks. Uh, I ain't doing that. We ain't having that. Nah. Nah. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm sorry. Um, I definitely got a little heated in this. I mean, I didn't get that heated out a lot. I wasn't like cursing or anything. <laughs> but that was some garbage, man. I lost twice for the sake. Well, the second time was he, he froze me and then got a double protect. But yeah, the freeze is big because I was not able to get up rocks. And as you saw, my Metagross did 57% to Dawn fan. So if rocks were up, Articuno came in twice, guys, and, and doubled. If rocks were up, that would never have happened, and I, I just would have just clicked Meteor Mash and win. Even a Dollar Protect wouldn't have saved him, because he wouldn't have been able, he would have been at 2%. I could have just switched into Noivern, like, hard on the Articuno's Protect, and went for Switcheroo, locked him into that, and then Bullet Punch to win the game, but... Pokemon. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, where are we ending it? Two losses to, to some garbage, man. Not, not that he's garbage, but, like, the garbage that, like, of what the game has to offer sometimes. Uh, 1421 so from the last episode we technically only climbed 20 points which is annoying I definitely think this team had the um, I definitely think this team had the ability to climb a little bit more uh, I guess I'll give my overall thoughts though on Zygarde in the end of this video since we're here but as I mentioned earlier I think that a lot of Zygarde's checks are blanket checks to a lot of common threats in the tier uh, one being Mega Blastoise so uh, basically grass types like Shaman and Virizion are popular because they check not only Zygarde, but they also check Mega Blastoise. In Virizion's case, it even has access to Synth... Well, I mean, Shaman can synthesize too, but... Um, Virizion has access to Synthesis, which means on some builds, it just runs Swords and Sleep Blade Close Combat Synthesis because it allows it to pivot into, again, those mons yeah, even better. And then there's some obscure checks to um, the Zygarde that you can use, like, for example, the Mudsdale that's on my team. Uh, but yeah, um, overall... I, uh, I definitely enjoyed this team a lot. Ajna, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to win all the. I think I could. I would have won. I think I would have won undefeated, and we more than likely would have been at like 1480 right now ish. Uh, but sometimes the game says no. Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I I'm probably gonna be leaning towards. I don't I don't want to influence any votes, but I'll probably be leaning towards no ban just because I don't think Zygarde's that centralizing in the sense that it it puts a. A strain on team building especially with what's popular too again I already named Rizion and Shaman well Rizion more so 
But there's also Golisopod, which uh, takes Thousand Arrows, shrugs off a of stream speed, shrugs off Outrage, to be honest. First impression is an Oko, and again, that still checks that while blanket checking another Pokemon, another threat in the tier. So, overall, um, I would, I'll have to ladder, and I, I might do... I might do some suspect tests laddering, I don't know, because I'm doing the RU road, so I don't really see a reason to get Rex and give my thoughts on it, uh, as more so I just want to climb the RU, but we're ending it today at, where is, what's the top 10 of RU, 1700, 1800, oh, it's not even that, him can't get top 10, really, you think I can't get top 10 in RU, <laughs> I'd be undefeated, oh anyway, that's funny, uh, why do people do this to me? I bet it's that Ocean Master dude too. Ocean whatever. It's funny though. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Goodbye my friends.